Yeah, quick lesson Israel, quick lesson. Shalom Israel. All praise to the Musa, Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shai, Bashem Raka Kadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders, the great millstone who taught me this truth. Peace and salutation to the Akim out there pushing this truth all over the earth. Right? So yeah, title of this lesson is more judgments, man. You know what I mean? More judgments, right? But uh, I got an alert. I got an alert on my uh, cell phone here, and uh, it made me want to drop a listen, drop a lesson, man. You know what I mean? So uh, in the news, this alert came in today. Time for the world to take notice. The World Health Organization declares Congo's Ebola outbreak an international emergency. The World Health Organization has deemed the Ebola outbreak in Congo a public health emergency of international concern. The viral disease has killed more than 1,650 people with about 12 new cases reported every day, right? Daily. 12 new cases is real. Daily, right? The current outbreak is largely confined to Congo apart from these deaths in Uganda last month. Health officials and responders hope declaring the global health emergency will bring more international attention and aid. So yeah, they're looking for uh, international uh, attention, right? And aid, right? But it's all prophecy, fam. You know what I mean? It's all prophecy, right? Luke chapter 21, verse 11, right? Luke chapter 21 verse 11 and this is red letter right here man because it's Yahweh Shai speaking to his disciples man you know what I mean and it says and great earthquakes shall be in diverse places and famines and pestilences and fearful sights and great signs shall there be from heaven right signs man great signs you know what I mean? Yeah, I wish I said it, man. In the last days, these are the things that these are the things that will be happening that we that us as watchmen are supposed to look for, right? Pestilences, plagues, rumors of war, sedition among men, right? Yes, Simi. This is another one that came in today, right? Millions stranded in India as monsoon downpours bring flood and havoc, right? Just the other day, man, India was in a in a heat wave, man. People were fighting over water and stuff like that, man. You know what I mean? <laughs> Millions of people are stranded by flooding in northeast India with concern growing about food and water supplies. At least 5.8 million people have been displaced, a million more than on Monday, and some 30 have died in the past two weeks in the tea-growing state of Assam due to the monsoon rains, local government officials said. Many thousands in the state are making to do with only the most meager food supplies and dirty water, right? We've just been surviving on boiled rice for almost seven days now, said Anamika Daz, a mother at Amtola Relief Camp in Assam's Lakimpur district, right? So they got, they got relief camps going on, you know what I mean? Right? But these are the things that are popping off, man. It's important that we occupy in prophecy. Right, and we will stay watching. As a matter of fact, let's get that real quick, man. Sirach 39, verse 1. Sirach 39, verse 1. You know, occupying prophecy, man. You know what I mean? But he that giveth his mind to the law of the Most High and is occupied in the meditation thereof will seek out the wisdom of all the ancients and be occupied in prophecies. You know what I mean? So we out here being watchmen, you know what I mean? Studying the dark sayings, right? Studying this word, right? Occupied in prophecy, man. Blowing the trumpets, you see me? Right? Second Exodus 15. Let's close out with this one real quick. Verse five. Behold, saith Yahweh, I will bring plagues upon the world, the sword, famine, death, and destruction right so yo it's plain as day right there man There's, you don't need a breakdown for that man it's broken down right there for you you know what i mean so stay occupied in these prophecies israel you know what i mean stay in this truth 
You know what I mean? Focus, walk in this word. You know what I mean? So it's ramping up, man. It's begin the beginning of sorrows is here, man. You know what I mean? So yeah, I pray you were edified, right? All praises once again to the Most High, Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shai, right? Bashem Rakakadash, right? Double honors to the elders of GMS who taught me this truth. Peace and salutations to the Akim out here pushing this truth. Shalom.